Hello, everybody. This is Jack from Tefluency.com, along with... Kate. This is my wife, Kate, and we are being quite ambitious because we have brought <laughs> our daughter along with us. So we are going to have a conversation in English, and this is going to give you the opportunity to listen to a real conversation, both in British English and American English. And baby. And baby. You'll hear some baby noises, no doubt. <laughs> and this is going to be on YouTube, but we might upload it as a podcast as well. So if you are listening to the podcast, go to tofluency.com slash podcast, and you'll be able to get some materials for this lesson. Mm -hmm. Now, our hope is not to edit this video too much. We're just going to have a conversation. And we are going to talk about vacations. Yep. We're going to talk about traveling. Now... We actually met while I was traveling back in 2007. So it's almost 10 years. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. It's flown by, hasn't it? It has, yeah. yeah. And um, we have been living in America for about six years now. Mm -hmm. How many uh, vacations have we been on since we've been here? Can That's... you remember anything in particular? That's a really good question. I think a lot of times we end up traveling for... Um, visits to family more than we travel for pleasure to get away from it all. Yeah. So because we because we live in America, my parents are in Europe, my sister's in Europe, mm -hmm. your family is elsewhere as well. When we tend to travel, we tend to go to see family, don't Visit we? Visit family, yeah. Yeah. We do. Why don't you tell everyone about our latest vacation our latest vacation um for the holidays this year we actually went to florida and we met up with your parents and your sister in florida and we had more of a beach vacation yeah it was fantastic yeah, it was. we went somewhere really warm i've got some videos in this you know mm -hmm. everyone can take a look at the mm -hmm. videos we made from florida but it was great to go somewhere different and not to go somewhere cold for Christmas. I know. Yeah, we've never done that before. Yeah. And it didn't really feel like Christmas um, because usually we associate it with snow and cold weather. Um, and instead we were on the beach on Christmas Eve. Yeah, and, and Christmas were Day. park rangers passing out sunglasses. Yeah, giving out free sunglasses. Yeah. But it was fun because people were playing Christmas music, they were wearing Santa hats, and we went to the beach on Christmas Day, mm -hmm. which it was really strange. It was yeah. really strange, to be honest, but very mm -hmm. enjoyable. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then let's talk about an ideal vacation now. Ooh, that'll because be fun. we are yeah. thinking about going away this summer. Where would your ideal place be? Where would you like to go? I don't know. I've always wanted to travel or somewhere really kind of different. Um, obviously, somewhere that feels safe, especially with the children, yeah. um, where we don't have to get a lot of vaccines before we go. That's such a good um, point. But I would love to visit a country with some different cultural um, traditions and mm -hmm. food. I've always wanted to go to Morocco. Morocco? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, we we nearly went, didn't we, while we were living in Spain? Yeah. But we just never made it there. Mm -hmm. That was a time to go when we were, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, I think that once you start a family, you realize that the time to go was any time before you had kids. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And that's why you'll hear people say um, to anyone who's just about to have kids, you know, take advantage of mm -hmm. this time right now. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you can do stuff with kids, like make these videos and podcasts. <laughs> um so yeah, what what? So you say Morocco anywhere else? Um, I would love to explore Australia more mm -hmm. as well. Um, and you have a cousin who actually lives in Australia, so yeah. that would it would be fun to visit them. Um, and we've been talking a lot with our son about koala bears and kangaroos and different animals that live um, in Australia. So that would be fun. Yeah. And I would love to travel more around Asia as well. Yeah, I haven't really been out that way at mm -hmm. all. I haven't been to anywhere in Asia. I haven't been to Australia. I think mm -hmm. the furthest east I've been is probably Germany. Wow. Yeah, yeah. and that's Western Europe. 
So. <laughs> But you have been all the way down to Patagonia in South yes. America. So, yes. So you just traveled in a different direction. But I feel like I'm so glad that I have a partner who loves to travel, too. Yeah. That we found each other because we can go on more adventures. And we can maybe take some trips now while Thomas is little. But I would love to take him. Hi. And Emma, who's chiming in on some really neat vacations when they get older and just mm-hmm. travel and experience life in different parts of the world. Yeah, it's a strange time for us because it seems like we're just dealing with, you know, emergency situations mm-hmm. when we travel. And this year, though, when we went to Florida, Thomas was excited about it. We could show him pictures. Mm-hmm. We could talk about it in, in terms of what we were going to do. Mm-hmm. And he got excited about that. Yeah. And he talks about it now. Mm-hmm. So he's developing those memories, and we took some great photos while we were there too. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and I think as the children get older, we're going to have great times, and we can do very specific things. Mm-hmm. And they'll get those mem- They'll have those memories. Yeah. Um, okay. Where was? Did you travel when you were little? Do you have memories of traveling? We went to France a lot, and we went to Spain a lot. Mm-hmm. Um. And, well, you know, my memories when I was young, you always make fun of me because I talk about my memories all the time. (laughs) By the way, Jack has an incredible memory. Wow. Wow. Kind of. When is is your earliest memory from? How old were you? I don't really know, to be honest. Well, no, there was that memory where I remember being in my mum's arms when I was six months old. Well, I had to be six months old Mm because they were in the old house. And... uh, I remember seeing our neighbor mm-hmm. and my mum was talking to the neighbor. Yeah. And I re- I remember that little, you know, snippet, that tiny bit of memory, but you know, it's not that clear. I know, but 6 mm-hmm. months old, that's incredible. I think that'll mean that Emma will start to remember life potentially in just a couple months because yeah. she's almost 4 months old. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Um Emma, are you going to remember this today? <laughs> she might remember this. Or at least she'll have the video <laughs> yeah, to evidence look back of on. it. Um, but, yeah, I we, we always went to France. We, always, we went to Spain mm-hmm. a lot. And when I think I was about 11 or 12, mm-hmm. when maybe younger, when we got a caravan. Ooh. So we, it used to take us three days to get to the south of France. Mm-hmm. And we would spend about two weeks there. Went to a place called Canet Plage, mm-hmm. which is near um, Toulouse. And we went there every summer for about five years, I think. Wow. And we met the same people. It was really mm-hmm. cool because as a kid, you want to be around other kids. Mm-hmm. And there were a bunch of other children there who we could play with. They had a great pool. They had sports going on. The beach was really close by. Um, my sister liked it because she was getting to the age where she could go out. Oh, it yeah. was that kind of place, but in a, you know, it was it was safe. It was great. We really enjoyed it. How was it traveling with your family, especially as you got to be older mm-hmm. in such a small vehicle and sleeping in it? Oh, I remember one trip, especially when it was there was a big heat wave in France, mm-hmm. and we we just poured water over our heads because we didn't have air conditioning in the car. Uh-huh. Super hot. And the other thing about France at that time, I don't know if that's changed, but they didn't have proper toilets. They had, like, holes in the floor. I bet that that has changed. I imagine it has. (laughs) But they just, you know, that's what what I remember about it. Uh And then one year, we went down with another family. And a friend, one of my sister's friends came as well. Mm Mm-hmm. And I went in the car with the other family and they had air conditioning. And it was just such a big difference. Yeah, I can imagine. That's something that we take for granted, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no one in the UK had air conditioning in a Mm -hmm. car. It was very, very rare. Wow. it must Because it doesn't get that hot. Yeah, that's incredible. So people don't feel like they need it. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Um, I just asked Kate a question about what you did for vacation. Where did you go when you were... When you were a kid? Um, When I was a kid, we actually took a family beach vacation every summer. Um, My family and family friends would rent a house on an island called Block Island, which is off the coast of Rhode Island Mm -hmm. um, in New England. 
and we would drive and take a ferry out to the island, um, and we just had a great time. We would go to the beach every day. Um, we would grill seafood at night. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was a really special memory yeah. for me. Um, and was that like every summer? Yeah, it was every summer for probably five or ten years. Oh, really? That, yeah. That, My that. mom actually grew up going there when she was a kid, too. So she had memories um, of the place and all the different um, areas to go. And it was just a really neat... And when when was the first time you went do. abroad? Um, do you remember? Hmm... The first time that I went abroad, um, I was probably about 10 years old. Mm -hmm. My dad decided to start working for an airline because he really wanted right. to show us the world. Um, and so he was working for a British airline and he got a free ticket. Oh, right. That's fantastic. Year. Yeah. That's fantastic. So he took, he took my sister and I both on a trip to England. Um, Did you go to Scotland too? Um, we did. Was that the yeah. same trip? I think so. Well, right. no, that was a different trip. That was in that, that was a trip that we took all as a family together. Um, but my father actually passed away when I was in college. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we'd had that trip together just meant so much. It was yeah. such a special, special thing to have done with him. Right. And, um, do you remember the, the journey? I do. <laughs> what was that? Because going to the UK or anywhere in Europe, you do uh -huh. the overnight flight from yeah. America. That is challenging. Uh -huh. Do you it, remember that? I think, I mean, I'm sure that I was tired, but I think it was just the most exciting yeah. thing that had ever happened to me. And just the novelty of everything, being able to look out an airplane window, mm -hmm. um, eating pretzels, a little packet of pretzels. Like, it was just all magical. It was so yeah. much fun. <laughs> I. I remember the first time I came to America, because mm -hmm. my uncle, you know, my uncle used to um, work in America. Right. And he um, got us on a flight, mm -hmm. and it was economy class. Mm -hmm. But we went to the, the checkout, and they went, they just said our last name, like, ask you? Mm -hmm. It's like, we'll, we'll see what we can do, because my uncle used to fly back and forth yeah. to the UK and back to America all the time. Mm -hmm. So they, my sister didn't come on that trip. Mm -hmm. I think I was 14. No, this is the second time. No, no. Sorry, I'm getting confused. <laughs> we came when I was 10. Uh -huh. And that's when we did. We got bumped up to first class. Yeah. And it was just amazing. I, I remember it very clearly. I think because my dad worked for the airline too, we got bumped up. Not did all you? the way up to first class, right. but to premium economy. Right. We, we were in business yeah. class and it was an experience. Yeah. Have you seen some of those recent pictures of the, the new like business class on these luxury jets? Mm -hmm. No, but... I uh, they have like, like, you know, spas and showers and a circular bar. Wow. There's a yeah. lot going on with them now. That's Obviously, incredible. very, very expensive. But... Yeah. Um, I think if you get some people I've seen on Facebook get on these flights or at least, you know, get mm -hmm. the first preview, mm -hmm. some YouTubers and oh, they look, it just looks incredible. Looks that, incredible. Sounds, that sounds great. That would make flying with small children worth it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, definitely. It's hard, isn't it, with small children? Yeah. The flying. It can be. Mm -hmm. It can be hard. You just never know what you're going to get. Every no. day is different. No, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's good. I feel very grateful to be able to do it, you know, yeah. to, to go on these vacations. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you mentioned Morocco before as an ideal place to go on vacation. Where is your ideal place gonna, to yeah. go? Yeah, tell me um, about it. I don't the, – the, I was thinking about this, you know, while we've been having mm -hmm. this discussion, but I think probably it, Australia. I think it would be Australia yeah. um, or Japan. Mm -hmm. I think somewhere in Asia, maybe. The The problem is when I start to think about these, like, ideal vacations, then I think about the practical side of things with There's, children, yes. you know, because mm -hmm. it's completely different. When I went traveling, I was on my own. I had a tiny backpack, mm -hmm. and I went away for nine months, and, you know, I could go on a bus for 42 hours. It was yeah. fine, kind of, you know, but it's something I could do. But now it's... 
is you're it, thinking about those things. Forgetting about children. Mm-hmm. Is it easier to travel on your own or with me? Oh, so much easier on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried that you were going to say that. Explain. Well, when you're on your own, you you uh, you have your stuff, mm-hmm. and that's it. If you feel t- tired and down, mm-hmm. or if you're like you just don't want to talk to someone, mm-hmm. you can just do that. Amazing if you want to be, yeah. <laughs> if you want to be outgoing, <laughs> then you can, you know, just just meet other people, uh-huh. and then you just make your own decisions. Um, but yeah, it's more fun traveling with someone. It is. That, that's the that's the other thing. Because you get to share your experiences mm-hmm. and just talk to somebody about what's going on. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, well, cool. Shall we wrap it up? Yeah, let's wrap it up. Um, do you have a question for the audience about vacations? Yeah, I mean... I put I, you on the spot, but... Absolutely. I always have questions. You know okay, <laughs> so yeah, give uh, everyone a question that they can answer. Either if you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment below. Uh-huh. Um, if you're watching or if you're listening to the podcast, then just go to tofluency.com slash podcast and find this episode. What's your question? Oh, now I have to just pick one question. Yeah. Um, okay, here's my question. <laughs> if you could travel to anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, and what is your number one bucket list destination? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Number one place to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, I'll ask a question too, just yeah, as a, yeah. a, you know, a bonus one. Mm-hmm. When you go traveling, do you prefer to take... A lot of stuff, or do you prefer to travel light? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I, even though you wouldn't think it, I prefer to travel light. Yeah. Like almost dangerously light. Mm-hmm. I do. I, it's so much better. You always take clothes that you don't need. Yeah. But, um, yeah, what about you guys? Let us know. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Please give it the thumbs up. If you're watching on YouTube... Go to the description. Mm-hmm. I'll give you some words and phrases that were used in this lesson. And subscribe if you're new. Listen to the podcast to mm-hmm. fluency.com slash podcast and check out the lesson notes. So yeah. thank you for watching or listening. I'll speak to you all soon. Yeah. Thank you. It was great to be here. Um, and to introduce you all to Emma, who is not born yet last time that I had a conversation like this with Jack. No, no. Yeah, time goes yeah. quickly. Okay, bye everyone. Bye.